All right, let's go right back out to lines. We got Howard out in Coriopolis. What's up, Howard? Hello. Yes. How you doing? Okay. You know, I um, was thinking, uh, who's that quarterback for the Baltimore Ravens? I forgot his name. Lamar Jackson, RG three. Yeah, I think that. I know they don't get a uh, a full complement of draft picks, but for whatever draft picks they got, I think they've got to keep their eyes on that quarterback for Baltimore because they're going to be the powerhouse for the next five years. And I don't, I don't get what right, you're asking. Well, so wait, so you're saying that you want the Steelers to trade their draft picks to their division I think for he the was. quarterback? I'm saying that the draft picks they do have, they, they're going to have to find some players with some speed. That can compete with Lamar Jackson. I mean, they hey, did better look, against Lamar look, Jackson than they look, did against RG3. You know what? I mean, uh, look, Lamar Jackson might not be the quarterback in three years of the way he plays the game. Everyone thought this about RG3, and look, he, you know, got injured, and now he's a backup. Yeah, but I mean, to his point, like speed on defense doesn't strike me as their overwhelming concern right now. They look like they got a lot faster this year to me if they keep Bud Dupree, if they keep. Steven Nelson and Minka Fitzpatrick and all these guys. Again, part of the big picture issue is something that they'd like to do this offseason is get some contracts structured and yeah. maybe extend some guys so that they can help preserve this defense for the next couple of years in an effort to prevent Lamar Jackson from running around. They don't need to get a ton more speed on defense just to prevent our Lamar Jackson from going nuts against him. They did a pretty good job against Lamar Jackson. Yeah. What they need to do is get some more offensive talent to score with Lamar Jackson. Exactly, and that's what I was going to say, too. All right, let's go out to Mike. And where, are you, where are you calling from, Mike? Everett. Everett, how you doing, Mike? Pretty good. Hey, we want to say that Ben's going to come back and save us next year. And with all the injuries, is last year we had Ben, we had – Brown, we had Connor. We still missed the playoffs with a nine and seven record. And with Tomlin as the head coach, we have missed the playoffs five of thirteen years with Ben as a franchise quarterback. Well, they were on nine six and one last year, but um, I'm not going to argue about that. Where they are with Ben Roethlisberger, I think this team would be in the playoffs with Ben Roethlisberger. Uh, last year was, uh, you know, what Chris you Boswell's. I, I blame a lot of last year's season on Chris Boswell. And a couple turnovers, uh, James Conner, Juju Smith-Schuster. It happened again this year. What do you think the record would have been with Ben this year? Ten, maybe 10-6. Ten 10-6? and six. Ten and six. Yeah. So the quarterback with that defense is only two games better? I would hope it would have well, been at you least know, 11. It, it, uh, you would hope so, but you gotta, it, they always blow a game. Team and, yeah, they you do. Know, I, I kind of felt at the I mean, beginning like, of the year they're always going to lose to the Jets. At. That's sort yeah. of what he's getting at. But, you know, like with, with Tomlin – it's funny because I think the narrative would be they had another talent-laden team. This was a team that finally had a defense that went along with Roethlisberger, and they still only got in as a wild card, and they lost in the first round. To so if Ben was healthy, do they win in New England? Do they win against San Francisco? They didn't win in New England. Yeah, that's what I mean, if he was healthy, though. Oh, you mean ben wasn't healthy, yeah. Right. Uh, I, I say no. I, I they don't think they're win that probably game. about an 11-win team, but do they go to the Super Bowl? No, I don't think they go to the Super Bowl. I don't think they go to the Super Bowl either. So whether they're 10 or 11 wins, I still think – they get to the playoffs. With I think if they had traded for Chris Kreider, they would have gotten to the Super Bowl. <laughs> All right. We got to take – we got to go. That's it for us. Hopefully Trying they make back, a switch. Get Dan Kreider back. They would have gone to the Super Bowl. For Tim Benz, I'm Rich Walsh. I'll see you later.